What is up tubers? As you saw from my previously uploaded video, I installed the Shinko 244 motorcycle tire made in South Korea. A true motorcycle tire. I installed this on the front yesterday because it was easy. I still have the stock Innova piece of shit tire that comes on the Juiced Bike Hyper Scorpion. This is the tire that Tora designed or engineered or modified with a supposedly uh, red protective plate in there, but I've yet to see it and just squeezing it and feeling it I don't think it's there feeling across this way. It can't be too thick. It's definitely not like the video that he showed where it looks like it's this thick. Uh, but what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna explain to you why these are so much safer. And these, although they're advertised at four inches, are only usable at about two inches. So basically, this heavy ass bike is on a two inch wide tire. Now this is not engineering explained. I wish it was, I wish I had two million subscribers. Can you imagine how dangerous I would be <laughs> with two million subs? Easy things to discuss here are weight. That's the number one question a lot of people ask. Holding these right here, they do feel significantly different. I weighed the old one. It came out at four pounds, 9.4 ounces. The new one, six pounds, one ounce. So without doing the math, we are a pound, uh, pound and a half heavier. I'll correct the math in editing put it on the screen right here for you. So this is a little bit heavier. Circumference on the new one, that's circumference for those of y'all that go to school in California, that means the distance around the outside, that's 180 millimeters. The old one, 171.5 millimeters. This tire here is Maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, 150 kilometers for those of y'all in Europe who can't get this bike. Okay, Canada. Uh, looks like it says it's got four pair nylon threads. This here, Innova, says five millimeter armor. I mean, I'm just trying to feel through here and I don't even think that's five millimeter from here to here. Uh, let's see, what else do I got on here? Made in China. It's funny, where they post made in China is down underneath the bead. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna see it when it is mounted. That's how much the China people hate their own products. They're embarrassed by it. Uh, inflate to 35 pounds per square inch. There is no DOT, Department of Transportation, approval on this. There's no speed rating on this. Of course, this is a bicycle tire. This is not a bicycle tire. This has a DOT uh, specification H6WEBDD, uh, and it's even got a stamp of the date on here. It looks like uh, it says 1419 or 1419. So let's just assume 14 means the 1st of April 19. That's kind of the way everybody else, other than America, does it. This, no date of manufacturing, no nothing. 
That's a total piece of shit. Okay, so here is where it's gonna get complicated for me to explain to you, but bear with me, I think I'll get my point across. What do you think our maximum lean angle is when we are riding and turning? I don't know. I know it's not 30. I know we're not gonna get, you know, like the GX racers uh, on Isle of Man TT, but let's just say for easy math, that we can lean our bikes at a 45 degree angle. Okay, without a protractor, and I apologize, I don't have a 45 degree angle. But I'm gonna use this right here to simulate a 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle on this tire puts us right on the edge. We've got tread all the way over to that 45 degree angle. This here is, width-wise, we are 3.52 inches. What is the width of the back tire, you ask? Because of the, because of the extreme roundness of this, I can't even get my caliper micrometer on here, but I'm going to eyeball it at 3.99 inches. Again, Juice is lying, saying it's four inches. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating there, you know that. I need to turn the bike around so we can look at the wheel and see what a 45 degree angle road patch is going to look like on the rear tire. This is the back tire, and you know I've been trying to shred it, so I found what I think is the most rounded, not worn off piece of rubber right there. Back to our 45 degree angle, right? 45 degree angle. Look at that right there. I'm gonna call that 45. And I'm gonna draw a line with my marker where the ruler is touching that. If you transfer that mark, equally to the other side, right there. One inch off of both edges, because for you to reach the extreme edge of that rubber there, look at that angle. What is that? I mean, leaning over, that had to be like 75 degrees. We have a two inch maximum contact patch on this tire. All of this here is wrapped around and too round to be of any use. If you have wiped out like me four or five times, leave it in the comments. These tires are dangerous, they're misleading, and you should replace these. I'm not saying with a motorcycle tire, these are heavy. I've already lost range with just one tire. I know that. I haven't finished calculating it. There's a lot of other tires out there on the road, and these should not be used. Here we are. We're at a 45 degree angle to the road. You see where I'm coming up with that one inch mark right there. Now that's one inch measured perpendicular square like that. That leaves us with, oops, go back two inches right there. You know, actually at that rate right there, that's an inch and three quarter. That's an inch and three quarter that you are riding on the road. That's all the patch area, tire surface area that you have available. Now, how can I maybe prove it? Well, let's, let's spin down. Let's see if this helps a little. So here are our one inch off of there. That may not be exact because true math would say that that should be two inches between here and here. 
But here we go. Let's look at my tires. See right there where it's wearing? That's probably my biggest wear point right there. Right there. What do we got? You got an inch and a quarter right there where I'm shredding the tire. Let's go with a better angle. Let's try this now that we got this going. There we go again. This bike would look pretty silly if it had a true tire that was only two inches wide of usable rubber. I mean, if this doesn't explain to you why your front tire and your back tire slide out from you all the time, I don't know what can. All right, so before I explain to you what I'm trying to do here, look at this still picture of how I had to set this up to get this shot at this angle. But this is showing you a 45. That's a 90 degree square I found that I had up in the attic. And as you can see, or I hope you can see, you're not contacting more than about the middle two inches, provided that you can even lean your bike a full 45 degrees. So if you can't lean it, that full 45 degrees, and you can only lean it, you know, this much, that tread contact area becomes even smaller than that two inches. These tires suck. Tora, you suck too. Now, for equal and fair comparison, let me switch all this shit around, and let's look at the same angle on the Shinko 244s. I hope this gives you a visual representation of what I'm trying to prove. Okay, before we go on any further, I want you to see how I got my camera set up and all, just for a fair and equal comparison of the Nova piece of shit versus the Shinko real motorcycle tires. Here's your angles. There's your road patch. There's the edge of your tread. You're at 45 degrees. If you can lean your bike 45 degrees, you're using the full three and a half inches of this because of the tread design. I'm not engineering explained. This is fester fussing. <laughs> uh, I hope this explains to you the dangerousness, is that a proper word? Of the Innova stock tires that come on the Hyper Scorpion and why you should find new tires immediately before you kill yourself. Thumbs up, and I'll see you.